That's right. <clears throat> Reverend Kent Hovind is absolutely correct, apparently, about humans and dinosaurs living, cohabitating, and having sex together. I mean, they didn't all die out 65 million years ago. Ah, root beer. There is a sub, sub, sub class of, shall we say, literature called Dinosaur Erotica. I sure wish that I had come up with that and filled that niche with my own writing, but other people have done that. And of course, there appears to be a market for it. Mm. <sighs> Taken by the T-Rex. Customer review. It is very uncommon to find accurate depictions of dinosaur on women's sex. If, like me, you have found it increasingly difficult to satisfy your need to recount old times, then this literary masterpiece is for you. No other author has truly been able to both arouse and entice my intense desire to mate with a T-Rex as accurately and successfully as Christy Sims. I would not be surprised if this book outsells the Bible and brings about a new age of literary in enlightenment. Needless to say, almost all of the reviews are humorous and not meant to be serious. Another review? I loved it! My husband keeps asking why I have a photo of a T-Rex on our headboard. I tell him to stop talking and tuck his arms back into his sleeves. That's fucking hilarious. Not bestiality. Don't worry, it's not bestiality because she's a dinosaur too. At the end of the book, you learn she's a mega sore ass. Drin taunts the beast, giving her tribe's mates time to flee. As she runs, leading it through a gauntlet of traps, the thrill of the hunt soars through her blood, leaving her wet with desire. When the angry T-Rex corners the huntress in a box canyon, it seems more interested in her wet womanhood than in her flesh. <laughs>